Welcome to Scared Stiff here on the Stream.tv. I'm Jennifer Blanc Bean, and today I am thrilled to have Alyssa Lobit, the writer and star of Among Friends, in the house. We'll also be digitally connected to Athena Lobit, my producing partner on the film, who just happens to be Alyssa's sister. Alyssa Lobit, welcome to Scared Stiff. <laughs> hey. Thank you so much for having me. This is a, such a pleasure. I'm so excited that you're here and able to tell us about the film. Cool. So, question one. This was Danielle Harris's directorial debut. Mm -hmm. I also had my directorial debut on The Night Visitor, and it was intense. Mm -hmm. And I just want to know, what was it like working with her as a director, especially because she grew up in this genre? Yeah, you know, I think that the cool thing that Danielle brought with her was her experience in this genre um, because she was, because of that, she was someone who kind of held the foundation for the whole team. She's just worked on so many sets and so many on so many projects that are horror and so she was definitely the veteran that I could just, I knew that we were in good hands because of that um, because you can't, you can't really learn that or try to try to learn that. You just absorb it, absorb it through the years of working. And she just had a, a real confidence that was grounding for all of us, I think. Well, you are also the writer mm -hmm. and the star. So is it tough to write for yourself? It would be if I, if I thought about it like, oh, I'm going to be acting in this part. When I write, um, I do not think about acting it. Um, and in fact, with Among Friends, I did not know what part I was going to play. Mm -hmm. um, I, I knew kind of that you were going to play Melanie and a couple of other things, but I, and I guess somewhere subconsciously, I must have known that I was going to be ending up playing Bernadette, mm -hmm. but I can't think like that when I'm writing because then I'll have, you know, I'll be trying to filter through my Alyssa's personal <laughs> insecurities or something, and that's not good for storytelling. So um, basically every different part of the process, I mean, there's different hats that I'm wearing, the writer hat, the actress hat, the producer hat, and it's not that I'm wearing all of the hats at once, I mean, that would look ridiculous, but it's like it's, I'm taking one off and putting the other one on and taking this one off and putting that one on, and so that's the kind of flow that works best for me so that I'm not, you know, thinking, censoring myself when I'm writing. Well, this is a, a, a basically female-produced, directed film, and mm -hmm. females are very good at multitasking, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, what was your favorite scene to write? Um, you know, there's, there's this kind of scene that flows through the movie that is based in hallucination, mm -hmm. and that was so fun because um, it's when you're writing those kind of scenes where anything can happen, it's very freeing. It's like, it can be fantastical. It can be humorous. It can be just, you know, effed up. I'm sorry, am I allowed to cuss on this show? I, I'm not you, sure. I think you can do anything you want. Okay, so anyways, continuing on. Um, when you, when I write, when writing that kind of stuff was super fun because it's basically just like letting your mind go and writing anything that you want. And I knew that we were gonna have some really cool cameos mm -hmm. um, that were gonna <laughs> show up. And so figuring out where those were gonna go was, uh, it was just a lot of fun. And I love how it turned out. It's a great yeah. scene. Yeah, it's a great scene. So, so what was your favorite scene to act in? Um, I would say <laughs> <laughs> also the hallucination. There's a, a little bit where I end up making out, I guess, with two boys. Um, not that that part was fun. It was fun to shoot it because of the idea of it on set. Um, all of the, you know, the makeup girls and, and er all of the females on set rushed in because the, the two guys are, you know, they're good hotties. looking hotties that, you know, <laughs> are, were shirtless. And um, so, well, your sister's the producer, mm -hmm. as you know. Mm -hmm. What is that dynamic like? Working with Athena is is a lot of fun and it's, you know, we figured out kind of how we work best together. Um, we are sisters and friends and we went through our first movie, our first feature together, The Things We Carry, which I also wrote and acted in. And we've, we've decided, I mean, we didn't decide, we kind of stumbled through and figured out that, you know, we have different personalities when we work, but the best dynamic for us is one that's in balance. Mm -hmm. And we've kind of laugh about it. Like my personality is very much where I like to go, I hit it hard, I'm very aggressive, and um, and she's very meticulous and logical and likes some time, and 
I, we describe it like, I think that she works a little too slow and she thinks I work a little too fast. So when we, we kind of rein each other in, I'm going too fast, she pulls me back, I kind of pull her up and we meet somewhere in that middle ground that is, you know, it's a really great way to work and I love her and I love, you know, she's a great producer and she's mm -hmm. a great person. So it's, it's awesome to be able to, to find teams that you want to spend a lot of time with anyways, mm -hmm. because, you know, making movies, you're, you're putting a lot of time into this and a lot of hours and you're together so, a lot. Yeah. So, so well, speaking of sisters, mm -hmm. we had the chance to ask Athena the same question. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's see what she had to say. Okay. <laughs> um, it's a good dynamic and it's one we've gotten used to. I would say that as a sister team, uh, we worked out our kinks on our first film, The Things We Carry. Um, so I will probably always stay behind the camera. It's where I feel most comfortable, and it's where I feel I'm the best. Um, and Alyssa, she's you know always been in front of the camera and a writer. And <laughs> <laughs> we did have a lot of fun on this set. We also asked Athena, how did you become a filmmaker, and what's her favorite part of the process? Um, I guess my journey into filmmaking started when I was a little kid, um, when my family had a beta camera. My sisters and I, we would get together and make um, little short movies, um, we'd do talk shows, exercise videos, commercials, anything we could kind of think of. Um, and I guess I would say, as far as my favorite part of the process, I'll always appreciate post-production. It's kind of where I came from in TV animation. I was a post-supervisor for many years and um, in uh, live action, um, filmmaking, which is where I am now, um, I still really appreciate the post process. I think there's so much creativity and so much that comes together um, in a very tangible way during post. So, is that what got you hooked to home videos? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I, we, I believe we still have some of those, which are probably cringeworthy at this point. <laughs> but, but yeah, you know, I mean, growing up, it was just so fun to make little movies and tell stories with them and the whole thing you know putting on costumes and um, and all that it, it definitely was something that came naturally to me and was fun and I mean if you can end up doing that as an adult too like that's uh, great you know it's like it's like playing cops and robbers yeah. and then being able to do it yeah for a living for so, a living exactly it's amazing so. Um, but you know, she she comes from post, and so I understand that. I I do agree that that's where the movie is really made, like finalized, and so much of it comes together. Yeah. Um, but I love being on set and shooting. There's nothing nothing greater to me than showing up, you know, on a set and all the the buzz that everyone's you know excited and there's a lot of anticipation and mm -hmm. you know just. So Athena's loves post. Mm -hmm. And you love being on the set, which mm -hmm. I totally relate to. So that's a great combination. Yeah. Well, before we check in with the digital universe, I just wanted to thank Athena so much for, for, for doing this. She's actually on her honeymoon right now. Yeah. <laughs> so it's so awesome that she took the time to do this for Scared Stiff, especially with a wedding going on <laughs> in her life. Yeah. So I just want to say, Athena, you rock. And congratulations. And we're going to see you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Okay, so we are back, and we're back to the digital universe, and our first question is from Joe Flynn on Facebook. This is a fan question, and he wants to know, he wants to Alyssa to tell us, how was it working with both Danielle Harris and Jennifer Blancbean on Among Friends? <laughs> All right, well, hey, Joe. <laughs> Thanks for the question. Um, you know, it was a nightmare. I'm kidding. It was, <laughs> it was great. It was, there was a lot of um, energy and excitement and that, that creative mix. I would say on, on Among Friends, you know, Jen and Danielle were friends beforehand. I came into that. Um, there was a lot of just energy and it's about corralling that and funneling it in. And I think that we got there with it. So hopefully um, that comes across in the movie. Okay, so fan question two. How easy, hard has it been to move from a career as an actor to become a producer, writer, actor, maybe director someday? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's a natural progression. I've always written, even though I started acting first. Um, I've 
it's just something that I've always done. Acting is something that involves a lot of other people and on their time, and there's always a lot of, you know, there's makeup and there's hair and there's lighting and all this stuff, and which is great. That's a different energy than writing, which I do anytime on my own, alone, and it's like I'm a Pisces, so I think I need that balance of being like totally around <laughs> everyone, and then I need to go into a cave and you know be by myself. So it works out. It balances out. Definitely. You are a multitasker, for sure. I mean, you've, you've got lots of balls in the air. And, okay, our final question is from Emery at Last Name Sloan. Um, <laughs> hey, Emery. Uh, <laughs> what was the best part of collaborating with the amazing cast and crew, thank you very much, of Among Friends? You know, I think the best part of it was knowing that we were all coming together and pulling all of our resources and this is an independent film so we all kind of you know showed up early and stayed late because it was we were there to to make this movie that was is for the fans to hopefully enjoy and that definitely was the heartbeat the entire time that we've made the movie was to get it to the fans and hope hopefully you guys enjoy it okay so this is what i'm sure everybody really wants to know as well uh oh <laughs> <laughs> well two things okay what is coming up next for you? Oh, um, well, I'm actually, I have a couple of writing projects that are in different phases of packaging and development, and I'm continuing to act. So I hope to, I hope to be uh, forcing people to look at more of my face a little bit more <laughs> you know, um, on TV and film and stuff. I'm auditioning, so. Yeah. And I think people are going to get a lot of your face as Bernadette coming up this week. So that's Yay! exciting. <laughs> okay, so finally, yeah. before we talk about that, the question that we like to ask all of our guests is, what is the one movie that scared you stiff? The Shining. Absolutely. <laughs> that, was, that movie freaked me out. Totally. Um, and, you know, uh, there's some, you know, uh, references and uh, kind of nods in Among Friends to The Shining. And... Um, yeah, that movie, God, it was... Performance. Just, the performances heavy. were so good. <laughs> and, like, the, the freakiness and the, like, you don't know if it's real or not and someone losing their mind. I think that's the thing. Movies that where there's psychological horror kind of happening... Where it could happen. Are, yeah, exactly. Where the... where what we're watching could actually happen and you don't know what's a reality and you don't because it's what's happening in someone's mind. Like, totally. I think my mind scares me. I think that's what it my really comes down sure to. Me, so. I'm scared of my own mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. This is amazing. It's been amazing working with you on Among Friends. It's been amazing acting with you and producing with you and watching you and Danielle through the writing process and you presenting that to her and then the two of you collaborating and it's just been such a cool process. And now you guys, you gotta get your copy of Among Friends. August 27th, it's gonna be available everywhere in the US and Canada on DVD and VOD. So go check it out. Thank you so much for watching Scared Stiff on the stream.tv. Be sure to follow the show on Twitter at Scare Me Stiff and Facebook. And send me your feedback, any suggestions that you wanna give me, anything you wanna tell me, I wanna hear from you. So I'm going to see you next time. You better come back or I'm going to scare you stiff. And go get Among Friends August 27th. It rocks.